Hey guys, how's it going? Now, we all love customizing our Android devices, right? I mean, it's one of the best features about Android devices. Now, of course, the first step in that process is to use a good wallpaper using some of the best wallpaper apps for Android, which you can check out here. But of course, the next step would be installing a custom third-party launcher because, of course, using a third-party launcher gives you access to a whole new interface and lets you access far more features. But with so many options to choose from, which is the right launcher for your device? Well, in today's video, we'll be taking a look at the top launchers that you can download on your Android device that offer a plethora of customizability features, basically allowing you to customize each and every aspect of them, thus giving you a unique interface and a personalized experience. So without wasting any time, this is one from Guiding Tech and let's get started. Okay, so right off the bat, the first launcher that I want to talk about is Total Launcher. It is definitely by far the most customizable launcher out there. Now, of course, it requires a big learning curve with it, but once you get accustomed to it, trust me, sky is the limit with this launcher. Total Launcher takes customizability to new heights by allowing you to customize, well, literally everything. There is no fixed layout here. You can modify things as per your liking. Whether you want a minimal home screen or one filled with features, Total Launcher can deliver exactly what you want. Now, there are also free themes to work around with or even even watch tutorial videos of random guys creating absolutely stunning setups in Total Launcher. Now, if you're up for the task of spending a lot of time creating the perfect home screen experience that matches your style, Total Launcher is definitely worth checking out. Moving on, if you fancy a stock Android launcher like the Pixel lineup, Launcher is one of the best options out there. But not on the Play Store because that's an old version. The new version is, well, still in the alpha stage, but personally I've been using it for quite some time and it's super stable for daily driving. Well, for the most part. Launcher basically takes the Google Pixel launcher as a base and then adds a whole lot of customizability to it. You get the latest features like Material U and the new at a glance widget. Now in terms of customizability, you can customize the dock, the home screen setup, various gestures and a lot more. Basically, if you're looking for a launcher that offers a tons of features, but does not require you to spend a lot of time learning it, Launcher is your best bet. On the other hand, if you still prefer a stock-like Android launcher, but want it to be super stable and available on the Play Store, then you should definitely check out Action Launcher. Action Launcher Pixel Edition, as the name suggests, is based on the Google Pixel launcher. However, you get a plethora of added features, such as a fully customizable search box, along with an action search that lets you search your device and the web seamlessly from your home screen. You also get enhanced widget customization, custom gestures, along with compatibility with Material U and the new at a glance widget. It's easily one of the best launchers that you can use on your Android device, along with one of the more customizable ones too. Next up, we have my personal recommendation, my personal favorite launcher, which is Nova Launcher. See, Nova Launcher is no stranger to the custom Android launcher scene. I mean, it's been there from pretty much the start and has still remained at the top because of how good it is. You start off with a simple desktop layout, but you can customize it completely as per your liking. Change the style of grids, add custom gestures, change the style of folders, use third-party icon packs and whatnot. Nova also has seamless integration with Sesame for a faster universal search. Now, I will admit that there are a couple of advanced features hidden behind the paywall, but once you start fiddling with that, even the premium version seems worth it. Also, here's a pro tip. If you actually intend on buying the Nova Launcher Prime version, just wait for a couple of sales to come around. The Nova Launcher Prime edition is almost always on sales and you can easily grab it for a, well, a massive discount. Like I personally bought it for just 10 rupees, which is an amazing deal. All right, so moving along earlier, Nova used to have a big rivalry with Apex Launcher. Now, while Apex is still one of the good options, I don't personally like it. In modern times, however, Nova has a new rivalry formed with Hyperion Launcher. Hyperion offers pretty much the same smoothness as Nova Launcher, along with some cool animations and a ton of features. You get folder cover gestures, easy icon selection, integration with the Google Home feed, multiple accent colors, custom docs, and even the ability to change the font. Now, similar to Nova, there is a premium version of Hyperion Launcher as well. But again, there are frequent sales for that as well. Next up on this list, we have Alpha Launcher. And no, Alpha here does not mean that it's in the testing stage. In fact, what it means is that Alpha stands for being the alpha in the jungle of launchers. 
at least that's what the developer thinks and looking at the feature list it's hard to argue with it the alpha is a lightweight yet feature rich launcher it comes with custom gestures to launch apps from the home screen the ability to hide your apps and fully customize icons you get a handy mini bar as well to quickly access your favorite apps and also add tabs inside the app drawer to take organization of apps to the next level now apart from that you get the usual features that you would usually expect from a premium launcher but all for free. Last on this list, we have Microsoft Launcher. Now this thing initially came around as a simple to use launcher with Bing search and random changing wallpapers, but now it has blossomed into one of the most customizable launchers that you can use on your Android device. Designed for productivity enthusiasts, Microsoft Launcher offers a smart card composed of several actions, including tasks, sticky notes, a calendar, frequently used apps, screen time usage, and recent activities. There are also various customizability options on offer as well, such as customizing your home screen, using gestures, customizing the app drawer, the icon shape, and much more. You also get daily wallpapers and support for use in the landscape orientation as well. And well, that was it. As always, you can find the download links to all of the apps that I talked about down in the description box. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more awesome tech content. Till then, this is one from Guiding Tech, and I'll see you in the next one.